Mr. Jacob Rees Mogg. Uh, thank you, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Speaker. My right honourable friend, and she is unquestionably honourable, said that we would leave the customs union. Annex 2 says otherwise. <coughs> My right honourable friend said that she would maintain the integrity of the United Kingdom. A whole protocol says otherwise. My right honourable friend said that we would be out of the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice. Article 174 says otherwise. As what my right honourable friend says and what my right honourable friend does no longer match, should I not write to my right honourable friend, the member for Altrincham and Sale West? Prime Minister! Can I, can I say to my honourable friend, Can I say to my honourable friend, can I say to my honourable friend, we will indeed, he has referred to the articles that relate to the protocol in the withdrawal agreement. I have been absolutely clear that some difficult choices have had to be made in relation to that protocol. Uh, those choices have been made uh, because I believe, and I strongly and firmly believe it is important, that we do ensure that there is no hard border between Northern Ireland and Ireland. But, as I have said before, my honourable friend has heard me say before, it is not only our intention, but we will be working to ensure that that protocol does not need to be put into place. What, what we are negotiating alongside that withdrawal agreement is not something that will be of a temporary nature, but what will be a lasting future relationship with the European Union, which will last for decades to come. And in that future relationship, we will no longer be a member of the customs union. We will no longer be a member of the single market. An end to free movement will have been delivered. The integrity of the United Kingdom will have been maintained. The jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice in the United Kingdom will, will end. And we will come out of the common agricultural policy and the common fisheries policy. As I ask my honourable friend, to consider the nature of the future relationship that we will be delivering with the European Union, which does indeed deliver on the commitments that I have made.